gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. them sooner or later then we make our stand here prepare yourself down with us here they come shall I deal with them all yours sister
that's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The Blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the Horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Insane. If we stand around, we'll die. Please, listen to your brother. Then let's go. Lead on. 